For Lemon Jello, this is a special cup of coffee. It's called tuba, brewed, sweetened, mixed with herb. This hundred-year-old secret recipe has its origins within a local Sufi Islamic group called the Marid Brotherhood. It's good for your health. If you drink it every morning, you'll be blessed by the Brotherhood's leader and you won't get ill. This is Serin Tuba, the leader of the Murid Brotherhood behind Tuba Coffee. Next to him is Senegal's president, Macky Sall, and on the other side, his political rival, former president, Abdoulaye Wad, a rare moment of unity orchestrated by the influential group. Outside, millions of people gathered for the inauguration of West Africa's largest mosque. This is a gift for us, the Marids, to have such a big mosque here in Africa. It's not an easy task, but with sacrifice, we did it. In a country where nearly half of the population lives on less than $2 a day, the Marid Brotherhood raised $50 million to build this mosque. The group's holding include a sprawling business empire, ranging from a TV station, transport, real estate and agriculture. Most of it supported by donations. But rights groups, including Human Rights Watch, accuse some members of the Murid Brotherhood of forcing children to beg for money in order to enrich the Murids. The group's policy advisor denies the allegations. However, if our leader has a plan for our people and needs to raise funds and everybody needs to contribute, whether it be women or children. The movement started with Sheikh Amadou Bamba at the beginning of the 19th century right here in Touba. The then colonial power France forced him into exile to gain control of the Marids' farmland, seeing the Brotherhood as a threat. Now France considers the Marids as an ally against armed groups like ISIL and Al-Qaeda affiliates in the Sahel region of West Africa, who are trying to gain supporters among young Senegalese. For the four million followers of the Marid Brotherhood, this isn't just a holy city, it's the spiritual capital of Senegal because important economic, social and political decisions for this country are taken away from the official capital Dakar and right here in Touba. And so the Brotherhood is a powerful institution in Senegal influencing all aspects of life including the cup of coffee that people drink. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Touba, Senegal.